Comrades, brothers and sisters, welcome to the Commissar's house with me, Commissar. Today we are looking at a game from the pretest for Alpha 11. It's me in command of the glorious battleship Potemkin versus, versus the dastardly menace of the Elbow Show in the Plunderbus. And we are lining up for a very early shot. We've got a very veteran crew here. All the uh, bitter veterans of all the Alphas are here. And we are going to get a cheeky early shot on elbow ship as he comes towards us. I'm trying to get my gunners to just uh, hold their fire. Unfortunately, it won't work out, but that's, that's the nature of the game. So as long as one or two hits, that's okay. Um, the idea is I just want to uh, let elbow come to me. I want to um, draw him him, and I want him to turn so that I can get a nice 45 degree broadside onto him and he can't reply. I'm taking a shot or two, but I'm, I'm fine with that. So, uh, you know, it's beginning of the game, only two holes, doesn't really matter. So, I bring, bring well, the ship up let's, to, let's there he is, on, on our port side. You can see him lining up now. I try and line up, I don't want him to get his broadside on me. I'm at this point, I'm expecting him to just, I'm expecting this to go horribly wrong. Luckily for me, it does not because the uh, small profile of the head-on ship just allows me to uh, duke let's most of his off. shots. So now it's up to me. I'm bring up, order my gunner's starboard side, and now this is the perfect moment. He can only engage me with about two sh two shots from his guns, and now he's going to turn. Bad move there. He's going to. I'm going to be able to fire on him before he can fire on me, and it's going to ruin his broadside. And it does so. Perfect, sh perfect shots from my gunners, and we do significant damage to them. He, I'm dangerous broadside from them, but. I've done the more more damage now. I get my truck. I uh, turn now. Terrible show. I try and get uh, as many of my crew to repair, and yeah, at the same time, we get the port side guns ready. This is going to be critical because we need to get more guns on the enemy than they have on us. At this point, it's about 50-50 more or less. So I've got my port side ready, and we're going to fire an elbow before he can oh, fire on us. Port side is firing, and we get the shot first. We knock out some of his gunners, and that's the important thing. We want to get those gunners down before they can fire on us. So now we've turned, and some of his guns just have missed. Look at that. Three three holes to our seven or eight. That is really serious. Well, of course, probably on Elbow will be putting up his side of the story, and we'll probably see about four or five hits. But the damage is done. I did more more damage to him than I he did to me. And now he's sinking, and I'm not. So I'm now I'm ready. I've got the initiative. I can now maintain the fire on him and he's just going to have to repair and hope I make a mistake and that's how I like it because I try not to make mistakes it's, it's all the same so we just maintain the fire and we maintain the fire I'm watching uh, my hits you can see my hits at the bottom and that's what I like to see good four or five hits there so now it's not necessary that will sink him but I want those I want to be damaging his crew. I want his crew to not be reloading his guns. I want his crew right. to be repairing, pumping, all these things right. which mean right. that he can't hurt us. Left. So now I turn Left. into Left. pursuit. I need Hold to keep that. up the pressure. A common mistake I oh, see with a lot of players right. is that the they outside. keep the gun, see. they just keep their broadside on to, uh, well, generally it's my ship when I've uh, taken one broadside too many. They keep their broadside on me for too long and that means I can get the small profile of my rear onto right. them and just um, sail away, and by the time they turn to pursue, I'm far enough away that they can't really do enough damage to prevent port. me from regaining the initiative. So now we bring up on the stubborn side. Notice how he's repaired. That's okay, because except what's not okay is that I missed those shots. That was my mistake. What happened is that playing on 170 ping generally you can get it right, but sometimes you don't, and it's one of those times where just you manage to get every single shot to miss, unfortunately. So the worst bit is when you turn all the forward guns hit, but then you, or I should not say all the forward guns miss, and then you turn to try and get them them lined up, and then the rear guns all miss. So what can you do? Now you're seeing here something which I'm a bit of a new mistake there. What has changed in the latest pretest is that the bowsprit can be damaged from, can be dam damaged basically if it touches the enemy hull. So yeah, I'm maneuvering under the uh, assumption that they'll uh, that I basically need to ram ram elbow ship with my bow to uh, lose my bowsprit. But that's not the case anymore and I lose my bowsprit so I'm immobilized and this is a critical moment. I could, this could very easily go wrong. Luckily for me, a lot of elbow shots missed. 
possibly um, his gun has just fired too early or whatever. What happens is, is that I'm able to do some pretty, pretty good shots on him despite being low in the water and taking a pounding, from, well, a not insubstantial amount of damage from his own guns. So now I'm able to just maintain the fire, repair, and just keep motoring along, pouring shots into him as he pours shots into me. And now with my ship repaired and pumping up, and taking a few shots, but we're pumping up. My sails are largely intact because he wasn't able to get his uh, his uh, swivels onto me. And now I'm able to just get my crew to repair, and boy, do they do a good job. So many holes fixed so quickly, and especially in our no bonus for low population. We've got full ships here. So now I just nose you in, port side ready to fire. Elbows expected me to be really low in the water, except I'm not. And I'm able to just light up my port side guns and just sail away. We're not low enough. We're board. not low enough in the water for deck, us to be board. dead in the Three water, and just stop. So it's perfect, board. perfect position. Unfortunately, I'm killed there, and as you can see, I'll be killed twice in quick succession. That's going to come and bite me in the ass soon. But my crew, acting like heroes, they're repairing. They're repelling the boarders which came aboard, which um, at the state we were in isn't that much of a hole. serious issue. Uh, perhaps, as you can see, you can see Elbow on the kill feed there, which is probably a mistake on his part, I'd say, because he, he probably should have kept on board a ship and tried to repair. But they use, that's the second death, and this Where's is going to be really critical, and it's going to make this game sail, certainly maybe? drag out a lot longer than before, and in another game against, um, in possibly in different conditions with different crews on both sides, I could have lost that. He's yeah. dead. You can see there's a little bit of a fumble there on the uh, recording, but... You can see, don't know why my gun Far was behind, uh, fired there, possibly it was great. But now you can see Elbow's got his shot lined up on me, and it, and this yeah, is the reverse of what basically you. I've been doing to him the entire game. He gets the shots on me and absolutely wrecks me. Just four, five, five holes, possibly six holes. Um, the crew are great at repairing, they do a great job, but it's not enough, I have to turn away, and I've lost that initiative. But we're far enough away that conveniently, I've got a chance to pull away and get repaired and the situation is not truly critical. As you can see, the holes are repaired very rapidly and we, we're in a very good position. We're taking some shots from uh, their broadside and now it comes down to me talking with Machete Bandit up there on the, uh, on the uh, rear, the uh, mizzen mast and the rear sail and he's going to talk to me and tell me to uh, line me up. He's still giving you his broadside. Unfortunately, this recording doesn't miss out on my uh, microphone so you won't be hearing me. The, probably, you probably don't want to hear two of me because I know God knows I don't wouldn't want to. And now you yeah, just up. I'm just lining her up now. He's more on your port. He's turning I just need to now. listen to Machete because it's important that I turn in a direction that as I turn, you you will have seen this before. As I turn, Elbow won't have his broadside all He's lined up so he can get the first shot. So I t I turn, I turn to starboard. He's more on your port. And soon you'll see port. the lights. It's, since you can't see the enemy ship for the rise of the poop deck, it's very tricky. Still it's, chasing. Um, it's a bit of a heads or tails proposition when you turn. But in this case, it comes up, it comes up heads or, where did that metaphor go? Anyway, I had a shot, sorry. there we go. Elbow has only one shot. I tell my gunners to uh, just hold fire and line up. And this time, for the most part, I think they uh, listen to me. And this time, here they are. He's turning now. He doesn't have the shot. And I'm able to get the first shot. There we go. The broadside get, is let off, and it's a devastating one. Eight holes, and there's going to be it's going to be return fire, of course, because Elbow's a very good captain in his own right, and he's no matter what happens, he's able to get those broadsides off. But the deaths in his crew means that some guns just aren't being lit, and that's that's what you take advantage of with the first broadside doing killing, knocking out his crew. And so I'm able to turn the starboard and line up. I want to, if I can. I want to get my bow, bow chasers onto him and hit him for a second time. And then get my port side as well. Now what will happen? We've got it, done it this now, is the situation, baby. I think it is. Yep, there we are, port side. Port side is lining up. And as we wait for Elbow to turn, he's at that perfect uh, well done, 45 degree baby. angle where he can't get a single shot onto me. And it's ideal, we just punch him, load him up full of holes. And my gunners, they go to work. It's always the captain's very important to the ship, but it says sometimes we're just the um, the, you just sometimes the crew's just the one who makes the difference. And this time they're, they're getting those shots off very rapid broadsides, very quick. I think we've got enough people now since our ship is untouched. Um, we're able to just have one man a gun, 
And so since we've got more than eight, more than uh, nine people, everyone's got a gun. They're just constantly firing. He says, as you can see at the top deck, there's only one person manning them. But in this case, you can see that the uh, bow chasers and the swivels are being manned as well. And in this case, you're able to just maintain the fire and you're able to knock out his sail. So that means even when he lifts, he's not going to be able to um, turn as well as you. And that means that that'll give you a significant advantage. So now I just slow, slow the ship down, I slow her down, and I just let my gunners line up their shots. And once again, an advantage of a veteran crew, they know when to fire. They know the three seconds, they know how to time the three seconds between the guns being um, lit and the guns firing. And now we just turn, perfect. And we just keep up the pressure. We keep it nice and close. We want to get in close. You can see elbow ship is on fire. He's low in the water. It's very tricky for him to get, well, it's not possible to reload the guns when they're underwater. So this is in the ideal position. So I'm not quite sure. This was a bad, this is a bad move on my part. I wanted to get the stunned broadside onto elbow. The problem was, was that as I talked about before, the bow spit um, runs into his enemy, runs into his ship, and so that's up us mobile. On the other hand, as you can see by the kill kill feed, the uh, grape, the uh, once again veteran crew, they um, load up on their own volition. They load up uh, the bow chasers with uh, grape shot. This is it's a dream of the bow chaser gunners to just get that get those um, to get those uh, grape. Get a load of grape down the centre of the enemy ship because it'll just keep on going down the middle of the enemy ship, and it'll just take out everyone. As you can see, we killed about seven or eight people there. It was truly exceptional. You don't see, you don't see that very often. And now they just they load up with the round shot as well. Um, someone gets hit and is fired off the deck. Whoops. Um, and then we just we take some hits, but we're able to put more hits in. We load up the port side. And yeah, there we are, I'm just able to rake him, rake, rake elbow again, just get those shots down, the, down his ship, and he can't do much. And unfortunately, his uh, stern chasers miss. And we're just able to repair, reload, fire again. And this time, we do take a lot of damage there. We do take a lot of damage. But we're turning now. We still keep up the initiative, even though we're damaged. And this time, I slow down. And this, gives, this has the double advantage. A, I don't get immobilized, and B, I'm able to just let my crew repair, and then I just shout at my crew, get anything which will fire on the starboard side, because you can't fire guns which are underwater most of the time. Um, you just, anything that'll fire, anything that'll shoot, you just light it and fire it. And bless them, the crew just, they go to work. And this is the advantage, this is a critical moment. We could have, that could have been a draw, that previous engagement. Elbow did a lot of damage to me, I did a lot of damage to him. But, we managed to light off that starboard broadside, I managed to bring that starboard broadside to bear, light it off, and now Elbow's in a serious, and there he goes, he's sunk, Elbow's in a serious situation, and I'm not. Good game. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you on the next one.